What up guys, I'm Chef Tucker and today we're making the biggest tomahawk steak you've ever seen in your life. We're gonna do a little winter chicory salad, brulee some figs, let's get rolling. Gather our basting kit, first things first. And from our basting kit, you know that we're using unsalted butter. We want three tablespoons. Garlic, garlic is an essential part of your basting kit and you wanna measure that with your heart. So however many cloves you think you're gonna need, you portion that out. I'm gonna go four. Four just feels like a good number today. And we're gonna leave it in the chemise, in the husk. So just put the flat of your knife on that bad boy and give it the old Hulk smash. Times four. And of course we need some herbs. Grab yourself a little rosemary and a little thyme. Time to get into some endive. All you're gonna do is slice it right in half, lengthwise. Look at all those pretty layers on the inside. You can take off that outer layer if it's kind of bruised. And then check out this root. Now, that is holding all of us together. So just trim off that little oxidized end right there. Next, we're gonna go into our winter chicory. So, uh, I got a radicchio up in here today. And so, when you have a radicchio, what you do is you cut it in half after you peel off those outer layers as well. Then you V-slice the core out of that bad boy, chop it up into planks, and give it a nice little small dice. And you wind up with a small dice of radicchio. Now we're gonna roll into persimmon time. Persimmon is a lovely winter, fall time vegetable. Once you peel it, you're gonna slice it into small little planks, into batons, and into dice. You know how we do the plank into batons, into dice. We're halfway through prep. You should probably take a sip of that Paloma or your margarita, whatever you brought to class. I have a lot of fond memories of being a kid growing up in my uh, grandparents' house and there was a giant fig tree in the back that I would always climb and I ate my body weight in figs for sure and so I absolutely love them. So you see how they all have that little stem on them? Slice that right off of here and cut this in half. All right, so we're officially ready to get into our vinaigrette over here. So, you know what that means? whiskey business time. We're gonna need our EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, and our lemon, and a little Balinese truffle salt. And we'll start with about half the lemon's worth of juice, squeeze it through your fingers, catch any seeds that might fall out of here. This is not gonna emulsify, all right? So it's just so you know, we are not emulsifying our dressing here today. We're just getting it whipped up. Don't forget to hit it with a little salt, right? We season everything around here. Rain the salt down into the bowl. Last but not least, let's get messy. Grab that blue cheese. We're not really gonna need this rind on it, so you can go ahead and slice that off. Don't cut off too much. What about that much off that rind? Just break it up with your fingers. Small little crumbles over here. We're gonna be whisking this into a little bit of cream later. All right, we're officially ready to get into how to cook, give yourselves a round of applause. We nailed that prep. Grab your figs. We slice them in half, take your half, stick it right into that sugar. Really make sure that you get that nice, crusty, sugary layer. Now, if you happen to bring your trusty blowtorch to class, you can blowtorch a fig to brulee perfection. That's a really awesome technique. If you don't have a blowtorch, if you put it on your Amazon wish list, Jeff Bezos will deliver it to your home in the event that you don't wish to do that. That is fine, we'll get a pan. Look at the sugar bubbling up under there. You can see it start to get nice and hot, starting the caramelization. Check them. If they're not super caramely, you can put them back in there for a little bit. Maybe give them a little rotation. You know how we love to rotate things. And look, right next to 
the ones that I did with a torch, you can barely tell the difference. So caramelize it however you like. Sugar. Now we're doing blue cheesy sauce. Grab yourself a little pot, pop that on your stove. We're gonna heat up our cream first, whisk in our cheese. So you don't need to be super hot for this. We don't need to scald the cream. See, my cream is already starting to uh, kind of simmer over here. That is great news. Start whisking in a little of that blue cheese. It's gonna melt down. It's gonna start to smell super delicious in here if it didn't already. It's getting nice and melted into this cream over here. All right, so first things first, let's grab this enormous tomahawk steak and season it up. It's been tempering on our countertops, getting it nice and room temperature. We're getting it nice and dry with our paper towels. We want that beautiful crusty sear on this steak, like how we always want a crusty sear. Balinese truffle, salt, AKA love in a bag. Season it generously on both sides. Grab your giant vial of canola oil. We're ready to rock. Saute pan, you want it on high heat, right? If you have a cast iron, now is exactly the time to bust it out. Grab your tongs if you have not already activated them, you are doing yourself a disservice. You wanna add in your canola oil over here, nice thin layer in the bottom of your pan. And then wait for that to get hot. Ooh, I'm seeing some smoke. Where there is smoke, there will be success. Press down lightly on this, and off we go. You know how we're gonna rock this? We're gonna do our 30 second flips every time so that we can preserve the integrity of the inside of our steak as we build that crust. So, 30 seconds happens really fast when you're cooking. Carefully, pick your steak up and flip it over. A little pressing, and flip. Uh. Eventually, you will have to sear the fat cap on your enormous tomahawk steak. You don't have to do it for 30 seconds, but just make sure it looks nice and crispy. When you are sure that your steak has a beautiful crusty sear all over the outside, then we're gonna put it back in the pan on low heat. Grab your basting kit, butter, garlic, thyme, and rosemary. Pop that right up in here. Scoot your steak to the back of the pan. Toss your butter, garlic, herbs right up in here. Uh. Tilt your pan forward and give your steak a buttery bath. Mm, look at that close up. You wanna baste it for like 30 seconds or a minute or so. You know me, I like to uh, pour all of my delicious buttery garlicky goodness right over the top for its final buttery bath. Our blue cheese sauce was heated up earlier. And so now we're just gonna fold in a little creme fraiche, finish it off, season it up. Be gentle, fold it in. I'm first just gonna add a little tang to our funky blue cheese. All right, let's get our salad. So we've got this beautiful winter chicory in the form of radicchio. Let's get that in here. Got all the persimmon that we cubed. Now, that dressing became broken again. So if you need to whisk it back together, swirl it around a little bit. There's a little bit on your dressing over here. And then save some to drizzle over your endive spears. Remember, we still have some of those. Give your salad a little bit of a toss. Time to hone your knife a little bit. Make sure it is razor sharp. Now, your honing steel is not gonna sharpen your knife, so if your knife is not sharp, you're already up a creek, but put the edge back on it with your honing steel, get ready to rock. We rested it at least half the time we cooked it for, at least. Big boy like this needs to rest quite a while. See where that bone is? We're gonna carve right around this bone. Get as close as you can. If you feel your knife brush up against it, that's great. Start slicing it from one side to the other. So this is how we'll plate it on the board, but we just wanna show the people first. A beautifully cooked steak over here. All right. Grab your favorite party platter because it's officially time to party. We're gonna plate this beautifully. Grab the bone first. You wanna land that where you plan to plate your steak, which of course is rice in the middle. That's our piece de resistance. Now, to transfer all this steak, keep it close together and land it right where you chopped it off of that bone. Now we start building the rest of this platter. We got that beautiful, chicory persimmon salad over here that we dress lightly with our vinaigrette. 
This should look flush, so don't feel afraid to do it up. This is not one of those Michelin tasting uh, size platters today. This is our party platter, because we're here to party. Grab some figs, arrange those beautifully as well. Do you know what we are missing? Blue cheese sauce. Nicely done, guys. Now you have a beautifully seared, perfectly cooked tomahawk steak with blue cheese sauce, all the vegetables and all the land, the winter chicories, the persimmon, and some blue laid figs. You know the rules. It's best to dig in while it's nice and hot. Feel your inner culinary gangster as you snap a photo of this beautiful steak. Tag us on the gram and me as well, and it'll taste 10% better. Hashtag science, all right? Thanks for joining. Become a member. Love Club is awesome. And I'll see you next time.